Hello viewers. Here is a Brookstone branded speaker. It's uh, got a very sticky handle and it had two bags attached to it. This bag had the power cord and an audio cord in it. And this other bag has been torn open and had no contents. And I'm guessing the wireless transmitter was inside this bag. So, um, that's highly unfortunate, but it's not an all hope lost scenario for two reasons. Uh, number one is it's quite possible this is just a regular old analog 900 megahertz speaker and it may work with other, uh, another audio transmitter that I have. And the other reason it's not an all hope is lost scenario is because this does in fact have an auxiliary input were you to use this, um, you know, just as a regular speaker, battery operated speaker, not necessarily wireless. Um, so anyways, let's see what we have here in terms of power input. This is input of 9 volts, and this is 9 volts. Now I believe this would have been the power cord to the wireless transmitter because this looks like it would need to have a 90 degree plug on it in order for uh, anything to fit and it still stand up. This is a mess. Actually that's a lengthy cord. And it doesn't fit. So that definitely is the cord for um, the transmitter. Alright, I'm going to try to find another, unless by some chance this happens to have batteries in it. Let's see if there's any batteries in it. It's quite heavy, so perhaps there is batteries. Oh, look at that. There's batteries. And they're not a leaking mess. Let's see here. All right, let me get uh, this transmitter set up here. And this is a, a three channel 900 megahertz audio transmitter. And this appears to have three channels as well. And there goes the batteries. Um, so it's there's a possibility that if this is just a regular old analog receiver, it'll work perfectly fine uh, with this transmitter. So this is now transmitting, and I gotta get all these batteries back in here. Oh, they did a big no-no, they mixed battery types. Let's turn this on. Oh, what that volume. I got this on channel one. Um, I would think if it was picking it up, it would just be a, you know, quiet with no static. Um, doesn't seem to be the case here. So, alright. Um, let me get the computer going and we'll at least test the local audio playing into there. Okay, I've got it connected to the computer now. And this is a very bad design uh, to put the thing underneath there because this can't sit on a regular table and not damage the cord unless you have a 90 degree cord which I probably have somewhere but I'm not going to spend the time searching for it for just a test uh, so let's turn this on I, unfortunately and this is really tragic because this is a win for all the rude commenters 
I don't have the server on at the moment, so I can't retrieve that track that I usually play. So I'll have to play something else and just for a few seconds because it's copyright content. So it actually sounds pretty decent. I went on the internet and I tried to find some documentation for this thing and I could not find a single even hint at what the frequency is. I would guess it's 900 megahertz. Perhaps it, it works off of different frequency frequencies than this one does. I don't know. Um, I found a transmitter for about $30 on eBay. Maybe I'll buy it. Maybe not. I only got 10 bucks into this speaker and the retails for almost $200. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to give it a, I'll give it a test later on. See how loud it is. See how good the quality is at higher volumes. And if it seems like it's worthwhile, I will go ahead and get a, get the transmitter. The transmitter is kind of cool because that can be battery operated too with AA batteries. Now, I would never use... Uh, alkaline batteries uh, with this equipment because I just don't like single-use batteries but as far as having uh, the capacity to use nickel metal hydride recharge batteries throughout the whole thing I really like that so um, maybe I'll probably get the transmitter if it seems to perform well so um, and then we're also gonna have to figure out what to do about this handle because that's just disgusting so sticky. Alright, well that's it for this video. Goodbye.